This is the Uptick Newswire Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com and Equities.com. Subscribe to us on iTunes and YouTube to stay up to date on penny stock news and interviews, public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world. With your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, I'm bringing back a returning guest, and I'll tell you what, I'm super excited to have him back on the show because I believe the breakout year for this company is going to be 2019. Before we went on the show today, I think they were up about 20, 30 percent. Stocks trading at 16 cents. We're talking about no other than Cell Cube Energy Storage Systems, Inc. You can find them on the OTCQB under the ticker symbol CECBF. You also can find them on the CSE under the ticker symbol CUBE. And if you're out there in Frankfurt, you can find them under the ticker symbol O1. X. And with us today is the CEO of the company, Mike Nealon. Mike, welcome back to the show. Thanks very much. Great to be back. Why your company? Why sell Cube over other systems? Okay. Well, I guess the first thing is because it's a flow battery system based on our uh, vanadium technology. And really, we make two comparisons. One is just compared to other flow systems, we've got the proven technology because we've got a 10-year track record already with 130 installations in 24 different countries. Um, and that means some of our systems have already been operating 10 years. So that's where we say the maturity of the technology and the, the proven nature of it really sets us apart. Um, but also in comparison to lithium, when we talk about vanadium flow battery technology, what we're talking about is long duration capacity for these systems. They simply last longer in terms of four, six, eight hours duration in the kinds of uh, energy storage um, charge and discharge capacity that they can provide. And that's something lithium just can't do. And then the final reason um, among many is just that there's no degradation. And we say that um, in comparison to lithium as well. These, the electrolyte, the vanadium electrolyte solution that is the, uh, the secret ingredient of this flow battery technology is as good on day one um, as it will be in 20 years, which means you can charge and recharge it and over that same period of time, you're not gonna have any degradation to it. So it's almost got an infinite life cycle to it. You know, I saw that when you did a press release on a project in Sweden, uh, can you bring us up to speed on that? Sure. Um, so that was in uh, southern Sweden, and it's a community microgrid project. So where the of about 150 households, where the entire energy supply uh, will be provided by solar and wind. Now. We also, what we were able to contribute to that project was the energy storage capacity to it. And that means that it would act as, the the energy storage would act as an intermittent buffer um, against the use of the solar wind, allowing the entire community to be fully 100% recyclable, or excuse me, 100% renewable energy. Um, because they can, they can use the energy storage, uh, even in a northern community, you know, as far, uh, as far north as Sweden, um, by use by putting the capacity into the storage and have uh, in this case it would actually provide up to uh, 16 hours of storage. Um, again, this is a nice uh, call it a a working example of the kind of sales that we are able to accomplish. One with the large utility Eon, but two in terms of a distributed microgrid system for an entire community. And it fits right into the kind of things you're going to see far more evolution toward uh, in terms of communities providing this kind of distributed energy systems. You know, last time you were on the show, we talked about some streaming revenues. Uh, I think you bought out a a company. I know that uh, you guys are looking forward to the first and second quarter of 2019. That being said, all these OTC companies need money to grow. You guys did a private placement of $4 million. What is that money going to be used for? Okay. So, I mean, we're still current on the private placement. It's, uh, it's open for accredited investors. Um, we're looking to close it shortly. I w- would point out that, um, that we are um, uh, fully subscribed on the private placement, except that we have an over-allotment provision. So there is some capacity there. Um, but in terms of the use of proceeds, we need to do a couple of things. First of all, we just need some working capital, and that's just to bridge the time as we expect the sales revenues to to, to ramp up and Absolutely. Come in, particularly 
into the first and second quarters of 2019. Um, the second is we're actually getting, you know, almost overwhelmed by the number of incoming inquiries in terms of uh, proposals for sales of energy storage systems. We need to actually add more people to our sales team and be able to actually handle the influx. And this isn't even, as I say, an outreach. This is really about being able to um, choose on our sales pipeline and give it an appropriate attention um, with with more people who are skilled in uh, pr writing proposals on energy storage systems. So that's one area we need to buttress up. Uh, we need some personnel that way. We're also coming out with the launch of our fourth generation of energy storage system in uh, Q2. Um, this is going to be the base model will be 250 kilowatts with 1,000 kilowatt hours or one megawatt um, at four hours duration. Um, and just we need a little bit more of the components on the on the uh, working commercial prototype for it. So that's a little bit of a little bit of the uh, money will be used there just to finish that off. Uh, and that's really it. The rest is just for working capital purposes. You know, you recently did a contract with uh, Pabina and EON. Why does that make that so significant? Okay. Well, as we mentioned already the one with eon is the uh the in southern sweden sweden the community microgrid project for um um for the 150 households um but pambena pipelines is uh based out of calgary that really relates to our switchgear business Enercube, and you know that's still really a, an untold story of Cellcube as a whole. Our switchgear business, um, think of it as the kind of equipment you need for connectivity to the grid. If it was your home, this would be your breaker panel and the switchgear systems that you use to connect to uh, connect to the grid. But on an industrial scale, you use much larger equipment and with a little bit different purposes, not just connectivity, but for uh, motor control systems and variance frequency drives, things like that. That business, um, Enercube, based out of Edmonton, in which we have about 30 people, not only does it provide the switchgear in connection with our energy storage systems, but it is its own standalone operating subsidiary providing this kind of equipment to, um, uh, to industrial customers, oil and gas, refiners, uh, pipeline companies like Pembina. And what this is uh, and why it's significant is because it shows that our contract writing just on that business alone is really starting to ramp up and get pretty robust. That's a, that's a master service agreement to be able to supply um, Pembina with switchgear over a number of years and for servicing of some of their existing equipment. So it's potentially worth millions of dollars, that, that contract. And um, as I say, this is a whole other aspect of our business that is relatively undiscovered and undervalued as part of the, uh, the overall company. My guest today is Mike Nealon. He is the CEO of CellCube Energy Storage Systems. You can find him on the OTCQB uh, under the ticker symbol CEC. Uh, BF. Also, you can find them up on the Canadian Stock Exchange, the CSE under the ticker symbol C-U-B-E. Uh, why the spin out? Well, um, if you haven't seen it yet, have a look at the price of vanadium. And what you'll see is that it's shot up. I mean, it's up over about 500% since 2016 or so, um, up significantly this year. It's now trading at close to $28 a pound. Um, we own a vanadium deposit in Nevada. And for one purpose for a spin out, of course, is you want to get a proper valuation on an asset. But we are fundamentally an energy storage company right now, and that's where our focus is. It's a different investor base um, to have for a junior resource that needs to be developed. So that's one thing is we want to we want to put the right form of investors as against the asset itself. The second thing is being an energy storage company is the focus and and um, attention and financing that's required for the purposes of developing a resource project are really different than running an energy storage business. So what we do want to do is just carve this out as a separate entity. We've announced a record date of November 30th. That means if you participate in the shareholding of CellCube uh, before that time, you'll be able to um, participate in the share distribution dividend um, and, and participate in the spin out and be an investor in the, um, the newly spun out entity that contains the uh, vanadium resource. Um, it is really to um, 
to allow that project to develop on its own and is on a separate basis. However, because vanadium is the key ingredient in the electrolyte solution in our flow batteries, we're going to retain a 20% interest in the outstanding company and we're going to arrange for an offtake agreement. All of that to make sure that we have a long-term supply of vanadium for the energy storage business at a reasonable price. That being said, Mike, what would you like my listeners to take away from this interview? Well, what I really want you to understand is that the different components of this business, when you look at it all together, you've got the switchgear business that we just discussed as, a, as it works to, to also um, integrate with the energy storage business, but it's its own standalone subsidiary. We have our vanadium deposit in Nevada for which we're about to spin out and about which will be valued on its own separate basis if you participate prior to November 30th. And we have the energy storage business with the most proven technology and is a world leader in the um, supply of uh, vanadium flow redux batteries. These, these, these three items on an individual basis make for a very robust company. But when you put them together, you have a fabulous combination and a really, really successful entity. Mike, I want to thank you for stopping by on the show today. It's always great to have you on here. You know, wish you nothing but continued success. Hopefully you'll come back on the show in uh, 50 days and give us an update of what's going on with your company. Thanks very much. This program is entirely sponsored and produced by Uptick Newswire, LLC, which is responsible for the content. The opinions and information provided on this program are those of the guests and those of the respective companies they represent, and do not necessarily reflect those of the staff or management of Uptick Newswire. Uptick Newswire encourages all listeners of this program to do their due diligence and research when determining investment strategies that will work for them, or to seek the assistance of an investment professional. The guests of this program may have paid for its distribution, and are not directly affiliated with Uptick Newswire or this station.